Namaste class. Welcome again. Now let us see the next question. In the adjoining figure, two lines AB and CD intersect each other at point O such that BC is parallel to DA and BC is equal to DA. So it is given that BC and DA they are parallel as well as they are equal. So as they are parallel, I can show them like this. They are parallel. So BC and AD parallel and they are equal. So I will use these two lines to indicate that they are equal. We have to show that O is the midpoint of both the line segment AB and CD. So O is the midpoint of both the line segments. Now here, here also you have to prove that this triangle OBC and triangle OAD they are congruent. Now if you see the diagram, this side and this side it is given equal. Now as BC and AD are parallel, this angle and this angle they are being alternate angle they are equal and similarly here this angle B and angle A is also equal as they are also alternate angle. So by angle side angle criteria I can say that these two triangles are congruent and therefore I will say that this OB is equal to OA OD equal to OC so that means O is the midpoint of AB and O is the midpoint of CD. Understood? So let us write it. So first uh, how you solve the problem? How you start? First you write given. So write given. What is given? It is given that AD is parallel to BC and AD is equal to D. Okay. You say uh, DA or AD whatever. Okay. Fine. So they have written DA. So let me also write DA only. So DA is parallel to BC and DA is equal to uh, DA. DA is equal to BC. Okay. So here DA is equal to BC. This is given. And what I have to prove or to show? I have to, sh to show that O is so here we will show that O is midpoint of AB and CD. This we have to show. Now let us start solution. We will take triangle and triangle OAD. and triangle OBC. Now in these two triangles angle OAD is equal to angle OBC and angle ODA angle ODA is equal to angle OCB. And for this, we will write the reason that DA is parallel to BC and these two angles are alternate angles. Also, we have given this AD is equals to BC. So this is given. So therefore, I will say that triangle OAD is congruent to triangle OBC criteria is angle side angle. Now as these two triangles are congruent therefore their corresponding side that is OA will be equal to OB and OD is equal to OC. Therefore we will say that point O is midpoint of point O is midpoint of AB and CD. OA is equal to OB and OC is equal to OD. Right. Fine. So, hence proved. 
नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम इन द एडजॉइनिंग फिगर एंगल बी सी डी यू कैन सी दैट एंगल बी सी डी एंगल बी सी डी इज इक्व टू एंगल ए डी सी इट इज इक्व टू ए डी सी सो दीज टू एंगल्स वी कैन सी दैट दे आर इक्वल सेकेंड वी हैव बी सी ए एंगल बी सी ए इज इक्वल टू ए डी बी इट इज इक्व टू ए डी बी दैट इज ऑल्सो गिवन इक्वल वी हैव टू शो दैट दिस ट्राइंगल ए सी डी ए सी डी इज कॉन्ग्रुएंट टू ट्राइंगल बी डी सी इट इज कॉन्ग्रुएंट टू बी डी सी सेकेंड वी हैव टू शो दैट बी सी इज इक्व टू ए डी सो बी सी एंड ए डी दे आर करस्पॉन्डिंग साइड सो दे आर इक्वल सी पी सी टी एंड वी हैव टू शो दैट एंगल ए इज इक्व टू एंगल बी ओके एंड द लास्ट प्रॉब्लम हियर वे वेन वी से दैट दीज टू साइड्स आर इक्वल here we have to mention reason that corresponding part of congruent triangle right okay we have to show that angle a is equal to angle b so uh, if i take triangle acd now in this triangle i have to show that this angle acd and this bdc they are equal so for that let us write given you can write okay and to show what you have to show now i am directly starting with solution so in solution i will say that this angle bcd is equals to adc this is one equation one angle bca is equals to angle adb so adb okay this is equation 2 now when i add equation 1 and 2 when we add these two equations this bcd bcd and bca when we add these two angles we will get angle acd so by adding we will get angle acd will be equal to angle here we add and we will get angle bdc it is equals to angle bdc this i will consider as third equation now i will take these two triangles i will say in triangle acd and bdc in triangle acd and triangle bdc hmm let us uh, write this thing from there near to the triangle okay that will be better so i will do the proof here in triangle acd and acd and bdc in these two triangles angle acd is equal to angle bdc this is from 3 as we have proved in third equation next we have angle adc is equals to angle bcd this is given and you can see that this side dc dc and cd they are equal as it is a common side so therefore i will say that triangle acd is congruent to triangle bdc reason is angle side angle criteria so by angle side angle these two triangles are congruent therefore the first part we have proved now therefore second part ac is equals to bd ac is equals to bd they are corresponding part of congruent triangle and angle CAD angle CAD is equals to angle DBC angle DBC they are also corresponding part of congruent triangle so again CPCT so by CPCT these corresponding parts are equal hence we have proved now here in next problem 
and the adjoining figure angle a b c angle a b c is equal to angle a c b angle a b c is equal to angle a c b so here this complete angle is equal to this complete angle such that um d and e d and e are the point on side ac and ab respectively such that be is equal to cd okay be and cd is also given equal we have to prove that triangle ebc is congruent to triangle dcb okay we have to prove this triangle and this triangle they are congruent so as bc side is common this angle and this angle equal this side and this side equal so by side angle side you can prove that these two triangles are congruent then we have to prove that oeb oeb this triangle and odc odc this triangle we have to prove they are congruent so for that um what we can do uh, first we have proved that this triangle and this triangle congruent so by that i will get this angle and this angle equal right and um, this side is already equal to this side that we know this is vertically opposite angle okay so by angle angle side criteria we can prove that this oeb is congruent to odc and hence by cpct we can sh show that this ob is equals to oc okay so always uh, as i am doing first understanding the problem on the diagram you also do the same way first try to understand what is given and how you can prove on the diagram itself and then start the problem right okay so let us begin i will start with uh, first i have to prove that ebc so i will start with these two triangles i will say in triangle ebc and triangle dcb now in these two triangles first this be side it is given that this be is equals to cd then we have given angle abc abc angle abc means angle ebc right both are same angle so angle ebc is given equal to angle dcb so these are given and we have this side bc is equals to cb i will say that it is a common side so therefore you have triangle ebc congruent to triangle dcb so these two triangles congruent therefore you can say that angle bc angle bce a equals to angle cdb is equals to angle cdb this is your corresponding part of congruent triangle now here you have proved that these two triangles are congruent by side angle side criteria therefore this angle bce i will write angle bc o angle b c angle b c oh, sorry what i am doing bce angle b c e no 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 i am doing something wrong uh, i have to prove that bec angle bec not bcd here let us correct it it is angle bec angle bec we have to show equal to angle cdb angle cdb right 
I want to show that these two angles are equal, this angle and this angle equal. Okay. So therefore, angle here I will modify and I will say that this BEC, I will say that this angle BEC as BEO. So here, so therefore angle BEO is equal to angle CDO. Okay, we will consider this as equation 1. We will use in the second case. First, we have already proved. Now, for second, let us prove the second part here. We have triangle OEB. So, here I will take in triangle OEB and triangle ODC. So, in these two triangles, OEB and ODC, OEB and ODC, in these two triangles, we have angle OEB is equals to angle ODC. This is from equation 1. Then we have angle EOB is equals to angle DOC. This is vertically opposite angle. And uh, third, we have side BE. Side BE is equal to side CD. This is given. Therefore, we have triangle OEB is congruent to triangle ODC. Here, we are applying angle angle side criteria of congruency angle angle side criteria okay so their corresponding parts are equal now let us see what corresponding parts we have to show equal uh, we have to show that ob equal to oc so ob equal to ac therefore i will say that therefore ob equal to oc their corresponding part of congruent triangle cpct so by CPCT, these two parts are equal. Now here, next question is, ABC is an isosceles triangle. So let us draw an isosceles triangle. ABC is an isosceles triangle with AB equal to AC. We have to draw one perpendicular, 90 degree. AP perpendicular to BC and we have to show that this angle B and angle C are equal. So simple. In isosceles triangle, um, okay, as we have done perpendicular to what I will say that in triangle in triangle ABB and triangle APC. Now in these two triangles, angle APB is equal to angle APC as each 90 degree. Then you have AB is equal to AC. It is given. AB is equal to AC is given. Now, uh, AP, side AP is equal to AP. This is common side, right? So, tell me which criteria we are going to use here. Triangle APB is congruent to, therefore, I will say that triangle APB is congruent to triangle APC. Okay, tell me which criteria we are using here. We are using RHS criteria. Okay. 
if you forget see again that there is rhs criteria also which says that if triangles are right angle triangle hypotenuse are equal and any one pair is equal then the triangles are congruent by rhs so by rhs these two triangles are equal therefore their corresponding angles will also be equal so i will say that therefore angle b is equal to angle c this is what we have to prove okay done next problem in the adjoining figure ba is perpendicular to ac ba here ba is perpendicular to ac and de perpendicular to df okay so 90 degree we can see here such that ab such that ba this side ba is equals to de so ba is equals to de these two sides are equal and bf bf this side bf is equal to ec now we have to show that this triangle abc is congruent to triangle def okay so if you observe carefully then they could be congruent by rhs criteria for that we should have this bc equal to ef now bc equal to ef how we will say here as you can see we have given bf is equal to ec hint they have given now if i add fc part on both the sides i add fc on left and right then here this left part will become bc and right will right right part will become af and therefore we can say that triangle abc is congruent to triangle def so everything is already given here okay you just have to write so here first you write bf is equals to ec bf equal to ec this is given then you add fc on both the sides so bf plus fc is equals to ec plus cf so here we will get bc and here we will get ef now bc and ef are equal this i will consider equation 1 now i will take triangle abc and def so let us take triangle abc and def so in triangle abc and triangle d e f we have angle a equal to angle d each 90 degree then we have bc equal to e f from equation 1 i can say and then we have ab one side ab is equals to here we have de ab equal to de this is again given so therefore i will say that therefore triangle abc will be congruent to triangle def the criteria is rhs criteria so by rhs criteria we proved they are equal now let us check in the problem we have to show that these two triangles are congruent so that we have done already okay so thank you we will stop our lecture here in next class we will see few more questions thank you again